Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are transforming our holiday dinner leftovers. You probably have a spread that looks a lot like this. Some leftover mac and cheese, some stuffing, mashed potatoes, and even some leftover cookie dough. Well, I wanted to give you some ideas on how to revamp them so you have little to no waste this year. Well, starting first with our dessert, I'm going to take this pizza pan and put a little bit of olive oil in it and spread it all around to keep our dessert from sticking. We're just going to take our leftover cookie dough. This is oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. I will link the recipe in the description as well as in the cards. So I just let my dough sit out for a little bit to get closer to room temperature and I'm just going to take all of the dough and roll it into a ball. Then I'm going to place it in the middle of our pan and just press it out into a pizza. Some people call this a cookie pizza, a cookie cake, or even a pizzuki. So we're just going to take this and put it in the oven on 350 for 12 minutes. And this is what our pizzuki looks like, fresh out of the oven. And we're just going to cool it for about 10 minutes. Then I'm going to just take this pizza cutter and cut it into eight slices. Then I'm transferring three pieces over to our plate. And to jazz it up a little bit, I'm just going to place a spoonful of the coconut whipped cream on top. And here is our revamped oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. And you can do this with any fresh or leftover cookie dough that you may have. And this was really good with the addition of the whipped topping. I kept going back in for more. So next we're going to make over our leftover dressing or stuffing. We're going to take a scoop and just form them into little balls. And my dressing is still nice and moist, so these were very easy to form. And once we form them, we're just going to set them on a piece of parchment until we have formed all of our leftovers. There's a bit of green bean casserole on this plate as well that we're just going to set to the side. And this is what they should look like once you are done. And we're just going to set them to the side for a moment and work on our macaroni. So I'm just going to take a little bit of plant milk. I have almond milk. And also a bit of plain panko breadcrumbs. going to take that scoop again and take a scoop of our macaroni and I'm going to form these into balls as well and I'm just going to take some tongs and dip that into the milk and then into our breadcrumbs. And 
Once they are coated, I'm going to sit them to the side on a piece of parchment as well. And this is what they look like. Now this is optional. I'm just going to take a little bit of cayenne and sprinkle each one. So now we have our stuffing hush puppies and our macaroni bites. And we're just going to place them in the freezer for about 30 minutes. And then we're going to air fry them on 395 degrees for 12 minutes. While those are working, we're just going to make a dipping sauce. So we're gonna take a couple of tablespoons of this vegan mayo, as well as about a tablespoon or so of habanero or any hot sauce that you like. And we're just going to give it a good mix. And then we will have our spicy mayo. These Morningstar Farms chicken patties are what I like to use as a turkey or chicken replacement. And I'm just going to place one of these in the air fryer for about 20 minutes. While that was cooking, I reheated my rolls and mashed potatoes and gravy. And so to start off, I'm just going to split my rolls in half. And then I'm going to add on my cranberry sauce. I took that chicken patty and cut it in half and put one on either bun. And here is my gravy. I'm just going to place a little bit of that on top of the chicken patty. And on top of that, some mashed potatoes and then a little bit more of the gravy. And there is our Thanksgiving sliders. Once my hush puppies and macaroni bites were done in the air fryer, I placed them on either side of our sliders and they both came out crispy and delicious. You can also deep fry these, but for a healthier option, the air fryer will be your best bet. And there's just a closer look at the macaroni bites and the hush puppies. And I'm just going to serve it up with that spicy mayo and then I reheated some of my greens and a couple quick tips I use this better than bouillon vegetable base for my gravy and this liquid smoke in my greens and here are our transformed leftovers with our Thanksgiving sliders our stuffing hush puppies and our macaroni bites. And just going to try out our spicy mayo on our hush puppies. And they were definitely yummy. Crispy on the outside and nice and moist on the inside. And here are our crispy macaroni bites. I also dipped in that spicy mayo. So, so good. And just going to get a big bite of our Thanksgiving slider. And of course, that was yummy too. I hope this inspired you to transform those leftovers. Please give me a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.